Hello and welcome to another Every Tuesday tutorial. In this week's tutorial, we are going to create a bullet journal inspired weekly planner design in Adobe Illustrator. So what you see on screen is exactly what we're going to be creating together. It's definitely in the bullet journal style, but this time it's digital. So if you're running short on time with putting your weekly planner together, this is a nice solution to print one off and have a quick layout to plan out your week. So you'll already notice that there's a bunch of hand-drawn vectors right here, and I'm actually giving them all away for free. I have a live stroke version, so if you prefer to be able to edit your strokes, your individual strokes, so this element, for example, you just have to come over to your stroke palette and you can edit the strokes, make them thicker or thinner. You can give them a dashed line if you want. Um, so there's all kinds of different options with a live stroke version. I'm also giving away an expanded version. So these ones are not editable. They're just shapes, um, so you can't adjust the stroke over here. But if you like the proportion and the weight of the lines, then this is a much quicker solution than using the live stroke version. So I'm giving both of these away. So I'll leave a link on screen and in the video description. You can go pick them up totally free. So I'm going to copy this so we've got it for reference as we create it together. And I'm going to create a brand new document, File New. So this one is intended to be printed out and it's just going to be black and white. That way you can color it in with your own colors and fill it out like a traditional bullet journal. Um, so we wanna make sure that this is landscape orientation. So just make sure this is selected right here. I've got letter size right here. Horizontal orientation, one artboard. I don't need any bleeds because I don't have any elements going off of my artboard. And I'm using CMYK color because we're just printing in black and white. And my resolution is 300 PPI, which is the print standard resolution. So I'm just going to hit create. I'm gonna paste this over to the side just so we have it for reference. And then I'm going to grab those free vectors as well. I'm gonna grab these live stroke vectors just in case we wanna edit any of the strokes as we move along. So I'm just gonna copy these, paste these to the other side. And now we are all set to go. Okay, so this layout, you can see that there's a little bit more space widthwise on this side. And then our columns for our weekdays are similarly sized. So I'm gonna give you the guidelines for those. So you wanna turn on your rulers first and foremost. So in order to do that, you can hit Command R or Control R on a PC. And now we have rulers on the top and on the side. And if you click on the side ruler and just drag out, we wanna drag a guideline to the four inch mark right here. And then we wanna grab another one and drag it to the seven and a half inch mark right here. So this is three and a half inches wide, this is three and a half inches wide, and this is four inches wide. So now we wanna grab our little board right here to drop in our week of. So I'm just going to bring it over here, make it nice and big. And right here, if you want it to be a little heavier um, with the stroke weight, right now there is this little pin right here is just a filled element, so all of this is grouped together, so we're just gonna ungroup it. Command Shift G or Control Shift G on a PC to ungroup. And now we just wanna select everything but this pin. So with it all selected, hold Shift and then click on the pin, and now we just have the stroke selected, and now we can make it a little thicker if we want. I think I'm just gonna stick to like 1.5 points right here. And that feels good, and I'm just gonna group it all back together so I don't accidentally move anything off of it. All right, so right here we're going to put in our intro to the week. So this is the week of board right here, you can see. So I'm going to grab my ribbon right here. I'm holding Alt and clicking and dragging, and that's how I'm making a copy nice and fast. And I'm just going to lay this in here so I can zoom up again. Just make sure it's at a similar angle right here with the ribbon. And I'm going to grab my font skinny jeans for this and I'll leave a link on screen and in the video description if you'd like to use the same font. So I'm just going to type out week of and skinny jeans comes in a script style and a caps style. So I'm going to grab this caps, the all caps style first. So skinny jeans caps and I need to make this white so I'm gonna hit I on my keyboard and just eyedropper the paper color and that'll make it white. And now I can just drag this on top of the ribbon and angle it the way I want it. And then if I hold shift and select the ribbon, so both of these are selected, I can center that text right within the ribbon. And now we just want to type out the week. So I'm going to type out January 20th. And we wanna make sure that the the T and the H for 20th is a superscript. So that's when you have your letters 
go super tall right here and tiny. So that's called superscript. So what we want to do is select the TH right here and you can select this right here. This is our superscript and that'll automatically put it up tall like that. And if you're happy with that, then you can just roll with it. If you want it a little bit lower or even smaller, what I sometimes do is I'll select it. I'll reduce the size of it a little bit if I want it extra tiny, but you can see it kind of toggles it down. And if you want to raise it back up, it's this little part on your character palette right here. So if I just toggle this up, it shifts the baseline up just slightly. So let me see, I'm gonna put in 1.5 here and that looks really good. All right, so that's how to do a quick superscript. All right, so I'm going to just scale this up, place this in here so it feels nice and centered and big. All right, so now we have our week of board. And now let's drop in our dividers right here. And I am using from this kit, these little X's right here. Let me bring these over here so you can see them really well. So there's just a bunch of X's and if I copy this group, I'm gonna hold Alt, click and drag. While I'm dragging, I'm gonna hold Shift to keep it straight. And I want these ones to look like they're the same distance apart as these two. And that looks pretty believable. And now I'm gonna group these together. Command G or Control G on a PC. And now I'm going to change these to vertical. So I'm just gonna hold Shift and rotate. And then set them right here. And this will be my divider. And then I'm going to make a copy of this group. So hold Alt, click and drag. While you're dragging, hold Shift. And let's make sure that these ones are the same distance apart right here. I'm going to group these with the preceding group up here. Command G or Control G on a PC. And now I'm just going to make these a little bit larger. So they go all the way to the bottom. So grab the bottom node, drag and hold shift while you're dragging to keep things proportional. And now we've got our nice little divider and I'm going to copy this and move it over here. So select it, hold alt, click and drag while you're dragging, hold shift. Let's make sure that this is perfectly centered. Okay, and if you ever wanna preview your layout without these guidelines, all you have to do is hit Command semicolon or Control semicolon on a PC. And now we've got the dividers for our columns. So the next thing we're gonna do is drop in our goals list and our important dates list. And then the rest of this will move along really quickly because these are all very similar. So for the goals, we're just going to grab our goals banner over here. So I'm gonna hold Alt, click and drag and just move it so it's nice and centered right here. And I am using the dashed lines over here. You can use your own dashed lines using the stroke palette, or I drew out some that just look a little more hand done over here. So those are the ones that I'm going to use. And I need them to be a little bit longer. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing that I did with my X's. So I'm going to hold Alt, click and drag. And while I'm dragging, I'm gonna hold Shift and just make these a little longer. And that looks good. So I'm going to group these together and move this over. I'm going to center everything. And I want, I think I have six lines right here. Yeah. So I'm going to hold Alt, click and drag. And I'm going to put four in between here using the blend tool. So if you come over here and double click your blend tool, you can change your specified steps to four. Just toggle this down if specified steps isn't already selected. Hit OK. And you're just going to hover over the top one until you see that little star. And then hover over the bottom one until you see the plus mark. And that'll put four in between. And now we've got our nice little goals list right there. And if we want to separate these so they're all individual lines, all you have to do is go Object, Expand, hit OK, and then Command Shift G or Control Shift G on a PC to ungroup. And now these are all their individual lines. So it's a nice quick way to do that. And they're all evenly spaced too. So we're going to do the exact same thing with the boxes. So if you want to check off your goals list, you'll be able to do that. So I've got this little box over here that's drawn out. I think I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. I'm holding shift whenever I enlarge anything or scale up or scale down just to keep things proportional. And I'm going to hold alt click and drag and hold shift. 
and copy that right down here. I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I need four in between these, so I can just grab my blend tool and select the top one and the bottom one, and now I've got my boxes all set, and I can expand them in the same way I just did those lines. So expand, hit OK, and then Command Shift G or Control Shift G on a PC to ungroup. And now these are individual elements. All right, so my goals list is totally done. So the next thing we're gonna do is our important dates right here. So for this, I am using these little leaf elements, which I have two right here, so you can grab whichever one you'd like. I'm gonna grab this one and just bring it over here. Zoom in. And I'm going to make a copy and reflect that copy. So I'm gonna hold Alt, click, and drag, and while I'm dragging, I'm gonna hold Shift to keep it straight. And then I need it reflected. So a really quick way to reflect an element is to hit O on your keyboard. Click where you want the point of reflection to occur which is going to be right here. And then you're just gonna click one more time and drag and that'll drag it and hold shift and that'll keep it straight. And now it's perfectly reflected. And now I can just type out important dates. That looks good. I'm gonna reduce the letting, which is your line spacing right here, which is right here. Let's bring those a little closer together. And that looks good. All right, so the last thing we need to do is just drop in those important date lines, which I've got four of them right there. All right, so I've got another line that's hand-drawn. It's almost straight, but it's not quite, just to make it feel a little more hand-drawn. And I'm just gonna stretch this one out. Since we don't have individual elements with this one, I can just stretch it out normally. So I'm going to stretch it until my smart guides show me that it's the same length as my dash line up here. And if you don't have your smart guides turned on, all you have to do is go view and click on smart guides right here and they'll turn on. So I had four of these. I'm just going to copy this four times. All right, and then I'm going to grab my little arrow right here just to kind of point to each one of these. And I wanna make this larger too. And then change this to a fill. Okay, so now we are moving on to our dates. So we're gonna lay this out and then we're just gonna replicate it and then we'll be done. So what you can see for the individual elements, we have the day of the week. We've got an arrow element pointed to that day of the week and then we've got kind of like a little Polaroid right here that has the date, the actual date inside of it. And then we've got our lines for whatever's going on on those days. So we're gonna start by typing out our day and dropping in our arrow and then we'll finish everything off. So I'm going to just type out Sunday right here. And this is going to be set in skinny jeans script. So I'm just gonna come over here to my character palette, toggle this down and choose script. And this size is going to be about 35 points right here. And I'm gonna grab my arrow which is this one right here. And in the same way we reflected our leaf element before, we need to reflect our arrow element so it's facing the other way. So I'm gonna hit O on my keyboard, click right here, and then click again and hold Shift just to reflect it. And this is going to be further over here. So you can see that I need to kind of stretch out my arrow from here to here. So in order to do that, you can just grab your direct select tool, which is keyboard shortcut A and I'm just going to select half of the arrow right here, and then I can click on any anchor point and begin to drag and just hold shift to keep it straight. And that will allow you to make your arrow longer without messing up anything you have going on over here. And now we wanna grab our Polaroid, which is this one right here. So I'm going to make a copy of that. I'm going to scale this up a little bit. And now I need to drop in the date. So this is going to be the 20th. I'm gonna change this back to skinny jeans caps because I like those numbers a little bit better for this application. And the numbers are going to be size 30 points here. And now I can just grab my lines again and drop those in. So I'm just going to grab a copy of this and then just scale it down. And now I'm gonna select all of these and evenly space them out. And that's this vertical distribute center icon right here that you wanna hit. Okay, so when you're happy with everything, which this looks good to me, I'm gonna group this together, Command G or Control G on a PC. And now I need to make a copy over here and we'll do both columns at the same time. So I'm gonna hold Alt, click and drag. While I'm dragging, I'm gonna hold Shift to keep it straight. 
You can see my smart guides are showing my distance is the same right here. And now I can select both of these. I'm holding shift as I select them both. And then I'm gonna hold alt, click, drag. While I'm dragging, I'm gonna hold shift to keep it straight. So there's my first copy. And now I can select both of these and make another copy. So now I've got four. But I want these ones to go all the way down to the bottom. So this line aligns with them. That looks good. So now I just need to vertically distribute these two columns like we did before. So it's this icon right here. And now these ones will be all evenly spaced in both columns. So if you wanted to add an extra line, you actually could right here, or you can just leave the extra space. I like having my layouts be a little more breathable, so that feels really good to me. And now we can go in and edit each day of the week. So these are all grouped together. You can ungroup or you can edit things individually. So if I just hit T on my keyboard, I can highlight this and just type in Monday, and then I can change this to the 21st and then go all the way through. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I don't need this last one, obviously, because we've only, we only need seven days in our week. So the other thing you might have noticed, all the weekdays are centered instead of left aligned, and I'd prefer them to be left aligned. So I'm going to ungroup all of these so I can do that. And then I'm gonna adjust my arrow slightly for the longer days of the week. So I'm just gonna ungroup here. So with skinny jeans, there are some stylistic alternates, which are just variations of different letters. So I have a couple different Ys. So if you want to change up the style of anything, all you have to do is highlight and then you can select the alternate letter. It's the same with the S's. So that can change up your layout a little bit. It can make it feel a little more hand done than it does currently that's something you would like to do. All right, so the last thing is just popping in whatever you'd like to have over here. You can put in a quote. I had a thought bubble before, and then I ended up changing it to upcoming dates. So whatever you'd like to do. So if you wanted to do the thought bubble and put a quote in for the week or any kind of note that you wanna keep in mind, that, that works really well. Um, and what I did is I just grabbed this little ribbon. I typed in upcoming using skinny jeans caps. And then I dropped in some stars around it. I've got stars, there's a moon, a sun, a heart. So you can just pick whatever elements you like best. You can just grab four of these over here and drop them in. Okay, so that's how easy it is to create a bullet journal weekly planner design using just a few vector elements in a simple layout. So you can print this off, you can use it in the future, you can change it up every week with different elements if you'd like. So that is a really basic weekly planner design in celebration of the new year to keep us all on track as we get started with 2019. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe and don't forget to head on over to my site every hyphen Tuesday.com for even more design and lettering tutorials and a bunch of free freebies, including this free bullet journal vector kit, which once again is in the video description. Just click that link and you can go and pick it up for free. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time.